All right. The mutual energy between you and the person you're dealing with is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this is a lot of, um, I feel that there's someone who's emotionally shut down, okay? You're both shut down emotionally. You're not offering your emotions to the other person. And uh, you could be dealing with someone who's emotionally very, very unavailable, okay? And you're both not investing into the situation right now. I think you're both very hurt. You could have invested a lot into this relationship, you know, like the Queen of Cups is a giver, okay? She's someone very, very mature. She's very compassionate, okay? So she gives and gives and gives to a point um, till, you know, uh, there's a lack of reciprocity in this and that's what I'm getting, okay? It's almost like it can even be the other way that someone is pulled back, they, they pull back and they're shutting down their emotions because they're fearing a lack of reciprocity and that's why not, they're not putting in their effort. Or it could just be that you're both just not investing into this relationship and you're both shut down emotionally. All right, let's see. Okay. What you're doing right now with the three of cups in reverse here, I feel that you know what? I think that you feel that there's a lack of reconciliation. That you don't want a reconciliation right now. I think you're holding back again because you're just in no mood. And you're dealing with someone with the emperor in reverse here, right? You're dealing with a control free. This is someone who lacks boundaries, okay? This is someone, maybe this person crossed your boundaries over and over and over again. You could have given this person like a 1500 chances, okay? But they just did not um, set it correct. And that's why your biggest blockage is the king of wands, okay? Which is action. You're both not taking action because you're both not, um, either you're not both not taking action or one of the person is not taking action, okay? Could be dealing with someone who's non-committal, doesn't have to be. But here I'm feeling like there's one person here who is, um, it's almost like my way or the highway, okay? You're dealing with someone who's very, very controlling in nature, very controlling, and someone who's very arrogant. The emperor in reverse gives me a very, ar gives me arrogance, a very egoic nature, okay? Stubborn, arrogance, ego, okay? They don't follow a structure. They don't have a structure, okay? And that's why I'm getting that this person could be someone very detached, okay? And at the same time, this person is not thinking logically. They have like a bias, emotional bias to their decision that they've made. And you, on the other hand, I think you're in no mood of reconciling with this person. Again, the blockage is that no one's making that move forward. Action is needed here and there's a lack of action here. Why is the three of cups in reverse? Yeah, see, you ended things with this person. Why? Because you wanted to do what makes you happy. You could be wanting a complete transformation in this relationship, but you ended things with this person because again, you probably every time you thought probably this person is wanting to have fun without commitment, could be, or you guys were just not coming on the same page. And that's why you ended things with this person. And now you're going to do what makes you happy. Why is the emperor in reverse here? This person lacks boundaries, okay? Someone very immature, but a control freak. This could be someone who really sucks at uh, expressing their emotions. Why is the emperor in reverse? See? And now they're feeling powerless. So it I can completely understand the situation with the devil here and the Queen of Wands, and the King of Pentacles, and the Chariot. So you know what I'm getting? This person wants to move forward with you. It's absolutely there in their feelings and their intentions, okay? They want to offer this commitment to you. They want to be stable and secure with you. They want to offer you everything that you wanted, okay? With the Queen of Wands here, this person looks at you as a badass, okay? They feel you're very, very sexy, very confident, very attractive, okay? They know that you got your shit together. And they know that you got that go for it vibe, okay? They know that uh, you're very passionate about something and you go for it, okay? So that's why they see you in good light. But with the devil here, I'm getting a lot of fear. And with the magician in reverse and the emperor in reverse, it's very self-explanatory, okay? This person is not being able to invest their time and energy in the right way because with the magician in reverse, this person feels very powerless about the situation. It's just that they feel that they can't make things happen. But what I'm getting again is that they can make things happen if they take action, which is your biggest block here. With the devil here, this person is, they have a very toxic habit, okay? This person feels something is toxic about this person, okay? And they're not being ready, they're not being able to break through that negative pattern, that toxicity. And it could also be that you're dealing with someone, you know, who just feels that this cannot work out, okay? 
it's almost like giving up on something before you've even tried. All right. But like I always say, right, regret is better than failure. Regret is better than not trying at all. At least you know you tried and you didn't succeed rather than not trying at all. No, I mean, failure is better than regret, okay? So, yeah. But the king of wands, why is the king of wands here as the blockage? very burdened by the situation okay it's a very overwhelming situation for this person with the ten of wands here okay and i feel with this person with the king of wands and the ten of wands here this person they need to take action and i think this is exactly what's overwhelming them okay it's something that's running on their mind over and over again and it's a very draining energy with the tower in reverse here, i feel this person is trying to avoid a disaster they're trying to avoid something from crashing it's almost like they feel that if they come in and they take action, you know, something's going to crash. Like it's going to be like a big, they're resisting a disaster or resist, they could also be resisting a huge change in their life. Okay. If they come in, if things work out between you guys, okay, it's going to be like a huge change. And that's exactly what you want. That's why this time I think you're very stuck on your uh, decision of not reconciling and you're very hell bent on making this change and transformation happen. Either a transformation within this relationship or you're ready to embrace this change and cutting off the old so then you can come in. And this person is feeling extremely powerless about the situation and with the Emperor in reverse here, they feel they've, control, uh, they've lost control over the situation and now they just don't know what to do about it. This person could also be burdened with a lot of things, okay? And that's one of the reasons why they can't take action. This person could have like a lot of extra responsibilities or this is just a very overwhelming situation for them. You know what? I even feel that this person could never have been in a relationship like this before, okay? And they were not really expecting to fall so hard for you. And now that they have, they don't know how to make this happen. What action will you take moving forward? With the four of swords in reverse, okay? If you're on a break from this person, you're probably most likely wanting to talk to them coming out of isolation. Why is the four of swords in reverse? With the queen of pentacles here, you're wanting to offer this person something stable, something committed. Oh, this is what you want, okay? You want progress. You want forward moment. You want to move into calmer waters with this person, okay? But of course... I think you're very restless about the situation with the Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So it's almost like a situation where you're so restless about whatever happened in the past, you're thinking about it over and over and over again. But yes, you do, along with, there is a huge element of remorse and regret out here, okay, about whatever happened. You're still crying over spilled milk, but with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel that you still are wanting to offer this person something stable, something committed. What, for, what action does this person want to take moving forward is the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person has no plans of coming towards you right now. Their energies are all over the place. Well, it's quite self-explanatory because they're feeling very powerless about the situation. They just don't know what to do. It's almost like, you know what, like it's like a self doubt syndrome okay they're doubting themselves if they can make them happen if they can make this happen because they feel that after you ended things with this person they doubt if they can have make this happen and it was only because this person didn't take action why is the knight of wands in reverse see this person wants to return back to you but again they want a reconciliation with you all right but you're dealing with someone you're dealing with someone who is not wanting to be vulnerable, okay, with the page of cups in reverse here. And they're very, very guarded. It's going to be very tough to get this, to let this person in, okay, with the seven of wands. Very, very uh, stubborn energy. Again, the emperor in reverse, the, 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 the seven of wands. It's crazy how stubborn this person is, okay. Ego, stubborn, arrogance. They want a reconciliation with you, okay, and this person wants to come back to you. All right, they want to return back to you. But for right now, they're not going to take any action. There's a lack of forward moment here. This person could be having a lot of abandonment issues. Regardless, your likely outcome is the fool here. So I feel that things are still going to move forward and you're going to take a leap of faith. This person's going to take a leap of faith or you're going to take a leap of faith. I feel no matter what the situation is out here, I feel things are, you guys are still going to get back together. Maybe slow movement from your side, but they're coming back to you from the cold, okay? Again. Just keep one thing in mind that I feel this could be a very codependent relationship. Okay, someone feels very codependent on you for something. Why is the fool here as the likely outcome? 
see. What the good news is that I think that I do see commitment coming in for you. Your relationship is going to move into calmer waters, okay? And I think this is all going to happen with the three of wands and divorce here, right? I feel that you, once you give up, right, there's a final decision that's coming in, a reconciliation that's coming in, and there is a commitment. There is uh, stability and security coming in. This person is wanting to invest into you. And with the fool and the ace of cups, there is a brand new renewal in love, okay? There's a renewal in love. This is a brand new beginning in love. And they're finally ready to take the risk. They're finally ready to take that leap of faith with you. So regardless of what all is happening here, right? Maybe for the time being, this is this person who is just feeling like things are not happening. But with the Knight of Wands in reverse here, I feel that this person is just very indecisive. It's more like um, their energies are all over the place. Again and again, I'm getting they just don't know what to do out here. Because with the Ten of Wands as the blockage, right? They, they need to take action, but they can't because they're very burdened by something. Let me just quickly clarify. What is the Ten of Wands? What is the Ten of Wands? What is the Ten of Wands? This person wants a brand new beginning with you, okay? They're going to return to you after being deceptive. They want reconciliation with you. They want to come back to you. They see you as their soulmate. They know it was a one-sided situation. So I think, you know what, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, clarified by the Page of Cups in reverse, again, I'm getting, you're dealing with someone who's not used to opening up emotionally, okay? Maybe this person ha is, has been a player before. Maybe this person is not really someone who likes to get into committed relationships, okay? And that's why they're holding back. But they've but um, they're going to come back to you, for sure. You're going to have this brand new beginning in love, for sure. So I think you continue doing what you're doing. It's almost like you not wanting to reconcile with this person is going to push this person, you know, to come out of the cold and come back to you. Why is the five of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, see... They want to work on this with you, okay? But again, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here, there is still a lack of stability and security and commitment that this person is not going to be able to offer, okay? It's still, something's still lacking, again, because this person is very in and out, in and out of your life. You're the Queen of Cups here. I'm assuming you're like the Queen, you're the Knight of Pentacles, they're the Knight of Wands. So look at the energetic difference, okay? This is someone who follows their passion. This is someone who follows stability, okay? Something long term. That's the problem here. You're very disappointed here. Very disappointed. And they're not they're not wanting to rush in this time, okay? But they do want to come out of the call. They feel very abandoned. They miss you. But again, just keep in mind, they will want to work and build with you, okay? They will let their guards down. But again, you're dealing with someone who's just not into commitment is what I'm getting. So keep that in mind. And... Um, let me know in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.